I'm gonna go back up here and see if I find anything else. Incredibly stupid, but what I'm about to do, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna. Yep. <sighs> but maybe, just maybe. No. What's that? There's like a graphical glitch or something. I'm gonna look. Okay, so I found Secret Four is Secret Two. That's um not inspiring. <laughs> Okay, apparently Secret 2 is somewhere around here, because talk about Secret 2. I'm going to read off a little bit more about that. Okay, there's... Okay, back outside, there's... An alcove secret 2 on it. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna head north. Flat edges. Hop on. Activate switch now or later to gain access to four. Okay, come back on. Relatively free of moss. Okay. 
Okay, so... Assuming maybe this... I assumed wrong. I'm assuming the compass... Oh god. I hope I'm a big idiot I'm reading the compass wrong. How black is north? Black's where you're facing. I hope that's the case. Play so face right. At least mossy. Ah, another stupid thing with that. <sighs> Gotta remember that. I'm like by an edge and I hit the uh, look button and I move around. I still move around. I forget about that. Now let's just save again. So I don't have to deal with this crap. They okay, look right. Large area. At least mossy. <laughs> I could be in. Okay, that's not obviously. Let's read this stupid thing again. Other side of the walkway. They're talking about up there. <laughs> God damn. Read it again, what it says. Crooked and narrow walkway. Wait. I'm back up to the upper level and go back onto that. Crooked and narrow on the largest part of the walkway facing north. Walk over to the right side, we'll find several flat ledges. Does it mean that over there? Yeah, baby, even struggling with the walkthrough. Yeah, this might be exactly what I need to do. No. I could always go up a bit further.
Okay. Death. Crunch. Get crunched, Amara. You know, let's try this. Jump. Jump. Nothing but that stupid frickin' Partly is my fault, but I don't ever remember this happening in Tomb Raider uh, 2 or 3 or 1 or the other ones. Like, look, I'm looking. Do that. I'm at the edge here. Look. I think it's like a timing thing. Like, time has to be exact. Walk away facing north, walk over to the right side, we'll find several flat edges. Locate one that's relatively free. Turn your back to it so you're facing journal and bus. Also be directly facing the large the other side of the walkway. Oh. Not only am I I'm doubly an idiot. Yep. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's no. confirmed. No. Oh. Combine. The laser sight. Flip. Oh, yeah. How long it took me to actually get this? <sighs> Strongly suspect that there was something in here. Alright. Let's see what's... Hey, see us? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I think a total idiot and misread the walkthrough for this, and apparently I can't read um, compasses. I've never really, you know, used a compass. The compass in this game. Or any of the Tomb Raider games. So let's, let's talk about this. Let's stare. Look the doorway up the stairs and the north wall and head that way. Doorway up the stairs and the north wall. What the? Ah, I think where I was. What? This walkthrough. Why are these too early walkthroughs so confusing? <laughs> He's like, well, you know, I'd have to rewrite my walkthrough if I did it properly, so, uh, you know, fuck off, buddy.
Open, open door in the east wall. Let's fucking walk through. Fuck, man. Probably my fault because I'm just reading the walkthrough instead of you know trying to figure things out myself. So dumb when I have to do things myself. Orientate yourself, that guy. And left and right and go back then. Oh, I'm supposed to... What? I swear that I tried using the action button on this. Before... Okay. I thought it was movable or something, but... Okay. Alright. Go kaboom this dude. Boom. Anything over here. Well, I got the dragon's breath like in the normal one. <sighs> Can't wait until um I forget what I had to I think you had to get like long shots or whatever. Oh like the sixth round on the um model six eighty or whatever it is. Ooh, music. I'm totally gonna figure this one out myself. I don't need a walkthrough for this. At least I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I've been raging at Modern Warfare earlier. Like I was playing the uh, Atlas Superstore and um, Jude House playlist. On Domination, and my teammates were total idiots. Why would they drop me here, though? Maybe it's a way for me to, like, I gotta push the, um, block out. That's blocking the, uh, beetle, I don't know. No, no, Lara, don't, don't waste. Yeah, we'll figure this out. It's hard because of that stupid walkthrough. Real one or a fake one? Two of them. Okay. No. Warned helplessness and all that. What the heck did I, did I get in here? I 
Okay, I went this way, but I gotta like re. And then I dropped out there. Okay. Said he was just, um... He was just tired, didn't, you know, didn't want to. Okay, why would I... Oh, okay, I got, I got it now. Going from up there, and then I dropped out. Dropped out from further up. All right. Gotta get my pea brain working again. I know it's timed, but I'm trying to... It's not timed, it's... God, I always gotta remember to press the crawl button since I move... Jump up into a crawl space because Lara can't auto crawl into a crawl space. She needs, you know, someone else to help her. It's a crawl space, but you know, I can't, you know, uh, crawl automatically. I have to. Watch, watch this carefully. That's how that happens. Okay. Just wondering how that. They couldn't really see up there. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can't actually. Because I've got two and I need two more, and the other two look like they're right there. Consult the walkthrough again. The other two needles are over. Oh, they're just decoys. Okay. Thank you for telling me that game, because I've been in here for like an hour. Wonder what to do. Looks like it could be a big dum dum, but probably not as big of a dum dum as uh, King of Suckage himself. You need help, you know, setting up the tier early. <laughs> I swear I tried, you know, using the action button on these when I first got in here. 
It would pop up the, you know, throw bar thing, but nope, apparently it didn't. Or I didn't. Is this the... Okay, no, this is actually something different. It looks like the uh, beginning of the level. Got the first secret, but it wasn't. Okay, that's, that's good. We got progress. I hate when this happens. Pull this and nothing. We pull it again. Nothing. Pull it again. If I go further into the water, well, I like. Oh, no, there is no further into the water. That's that's it. Okay. I have to come back here. I find something else, like a switch or whatever. If like um, you press the switch, and um, like the camera doesn't show that door open, I might have to yank that chain. Okay. What do I do now? Nope. Nope, indeed. Maybe there's like a underwater lever in here or something. Uh... There's that other door I could open. <laughs> it's way up. That's all it is, okay. Like monkey bars on top. Oh yeah, I saw a few. One of the um, ceiling levers was uh, like for a secret, and I didn't find it until I just found it, and that was a pretty damn good, you know, position for it. Laura, come on. Ooh, what's this? Ornate handle, okay. That looks like another beetle. With how not obvious this thing looks, I wonder if it's required or if it's like to access a secret. Let's do this stuff before we do... Oh, okay, what's this? Shotgun shells, okay, alright. Thing up there. Where's this lead? Oh, 
looks interesting. And that looks like that's the monkey bars that I was at before, so we'll, um... We'll deal with that later. It looks like that's a... Beetle over there, and yeah, nah. Another box I can shoot out, but we'll, um, we'll deal with that later if need be. If I can actually, can I shoot it from here? Come on, Laura. A little, little bit, a little bit, a little bit out of time. We got this. Yeah, it's not, uh... Guessing that might be, like, the stairs over there might be a return path. Not, no big deal. Got some say, ah, damn it. Save again. Oh yeah, I meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. That was like a split second reaction. Oh crap, I'm gonna fall. You know, thing. That was totally skill. Watch your crunch. Uh, uh, crunch. Uh. All right, Laura, we got this. I assume that is return path, that long stairway, staircase, whatever. Maybe what I'll do in here is I'll pull a switch or something that'll like give me access to the um that uh beetle that was up there. Who knows, might give me access to an underwater door. Hmm, riveting gameplay here. Alright, Lara. What does this do for me? Is this, this movable? No. No. No, Lara says. That I say, no, you. That's that stairway. I think. That's the return path by whatever reason didn't like put that whatever down. I got an idea of what I can do because I remember that there was a receptacle. Somewhere, yeah, right here.
No. Okay. What the hell do I do then? <gasps> now. Uh, position for later retrace it back to the alchemy look with fully as a beetle on the way. Need a beetle, yada yada, it's in there out. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to go to my right. In here, okay. Oh, I didn't notice this before. Ooh. If I didn't have that walkthrough open, I probably would have. I wouldn't have noticed it. Yeah, I don't think he'd be able to. Okay, oh, that's a very lethargic door right there. Okay, so how the hell do I. I guess we just jump up and we can grab. Okay, now when we go back, we gotta do that. Now our boy Roxas has not gone back to Tomb Raider in over a very long time, well over a month. Probably closer to two months, even. And again, the last time I played Tomb Raider for No Load Snow Meds was, I did an actual attempt, it was a couple months ago. I think I did a uh, like practice like a week or two ago. Think about going back to that soon. I'll probably do a half run first to get back into it, and then I'll you know, do an actual run again. Okay, how do I actually... Maybe a running jump? Okay, yeah, it was a running jump. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 